we will disgrace them very soon. We were the ones that put them there. Tinubu takes swipe at Buhari government again. The presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Bola Tinubu, has again expressed confidence about winning the 2023 election. As he said, that they will soon disgrace those they want to disgrace, honestly speaking. I am beginning to love what is going on in this uh, APC uh, government. This matter now, don't just day between them. We don't know waiting they happen between Buhari and uh, Tunubu because recently Tunubu has been talking too much. You understand? Tunubu has been talking too much. And I believe he thinks that there is something you know, that is really paining Tinubu. He wants to speak out and uh, he have not gotten the atmosphere to say whatever he wants to say. But looking at what is on ground, Tinubu is well uh, prepared, you know, well prepared to download all these things and all that to Nigerians. Well, we are waiting and watching to know what is actually going on. Tinubu, during his speech at the APC presidential campaign rally on Thursday in Oshobo, Oshun State, took a swipe at the government of President Muhammad Buhari while expressing confidence in becoming the next Nigerian president in 2023, despite the oppos opposition against his candidature. According to the former, uh, the former Lagos state governor, the current administration wants to cause discomfort, but notwithstanding, he would win the February 25th presidential election. Tinubu boasted that they will soon disgrace them very soon. After all, they brought in the incumbent administration and will succeed it in 2023. The APC flag bearer said nobody smashed the seat from a pan knot by being gentle, Mali, we are not bastards. We were the ones that put them there and we will be the ones to succeed them. We will, we will disgrace them very soon if time is not taken. If you say you want to frustrate us, we have come a long way and no matter what you do, we will remain steadfast, we are grateful for the way you tripped out for us. Niger News record this is not the first time Tinubu would be calling out the ABC-led federal government in recent times over some of its policies, particularly as regards the 2023 elections. Last week in Abiyokuta, Ogun State, Tinubu had said in, a, in the new Naira policy, and the attendant is scarcity, as well as the lingering for scarcity, are part of the poly by some people to sabotage the 2023 general election and prevent him from winning. Hmm. Your dream shall become your nightmare. This demented, sickly, old man called Tunubu shall never be president of Nigeria. This heavily tainted, dubious character that looted the resources of Lagos shall be humiliated and disgraced in the coming election. He will win. It's only that you may not witness it because in the next, he's the next president of Nigeria. Igbo will never rule Nigeria, mark my words. Our lovely next president, by the grace of God, Almighty, what is he lovely about? All these, all these issue, President uh, Muhammad Buhari and uh, uh, Tinubu, is actually between them. They should just allow us to rest. This is their internal issues, and uh, want to say that they should solve their own. Wahala. No one can install a king without being sanctioned by God. 
only Almighty God in stories and remove king without being questioned. Period. Hmm. So, my people, these are reactions by Nigerians. You can recall that recently Tinubu had been, you know, actually speaking out. And uh, yesterday, Kaduna State Governor, Governor Eru Fry, in fact, shake the table by saying that some cabars in Nassau Rock, you know, are actually frustrating Bola Tinubu's presidential ambition. And these people are hiding behind uh, President Muhammad Buhari to strike. They are unhappy that their primary, their, their candidates did not win the APC primary elections and all that. Uh, not as they are good in this game, you understand. President Muhammad Buhari and uh, every one of them, they are now showing Tinubu their real color. So that means even the support the Northern governors, you know, gave to Tinubu during primary elections were all fake. With what is going on now, because Tinubu, I don't clear, say there is a plot against him. But what do you expect when one is desperate? Desperation is bad. Tinubu is too desperate to become Nigerian next president. And now he sees that, is, he, uh, let me not just say that, uh, we are just watching to see how things are food. Because the look at, the look, the look, the look, if, you, if you actually look at so what is going on right now, nothing else, they are set to work against Tinubu and supporting the uh, PDP presidential uh, candidates. Atiku Abubakar. Takori Akasa yesterday, he was begging not an elders. He said, I beg. Mekuna not do this thing when I want to. Mekuna not bring this unity in Nigeria by supporting a not an uh, a, a candidate instead of uh, Tinubu and all that. Uh, well, like what Nigerians are saying, that that is their internal issues. They should, they should solve it. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below. <music>